Our verse today is John chapter 1 verse 42. Andrew brought his brother Simon to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, son of John. You shall be called Cephas, which means Peter. Our verse today is in the context of the call of Jesus' first disciples. Following his introduction to Christ, Andrew, a disciple of John the Baptist, immediately went in search of his brother Simon and told him, We have found the Messiah, and he led him to Jesus. When Jesus saw Simon, he called his name Simon, son of John, and prophetically announced that his name would be called Cephas in Aramaic and in Greek is Peter or Petros and means the rock. We can gain some insights from both Andrew and Peter in this passage. First, Andrew demonstrated that he was a very humble, loyal, and unwavering person who takes delight in his mission of bringing others to Jesus. In John chapter 1 verse 42, he brought Peter. In chapter 6 verse 8, he presented the boy with the five loaves and two fish. And in chapter 12, he introduced the Greeks to Jesus. His encounter with Jesus has made him a devoted missionary. More so, the successes, the ascent, or the acceptance of others, like Peter, did not pose a threat to him either. Despite introducing Peter to Jesus, he was often referred to as Simon Peter's brother. And he was not even a member of the inner circle of disciples, that is Peter, James, and John. He humbly accepted his position and mission while respecting Peter's eventual role as leader of the apostles and leader of the church. We can learn to accept our missions and purposes with humility because not everyone must hold a leadership position. Instead, each person has a unique task and purpose working towards the same goal for God's kingdom. Then, Peter's change of name is particularly important because in the Old Testament, a name change often indicated a special calling and new relationship with God. Abraham and Sarai's name were changed to Abraham and Sarah in Genesis chapter 17, while Jacob's name became Israel in Genesis chapter 32, indicating their new relationship and purpose with God. So, when Jesus gave Simon the name Cephas or Petros or Peter, he foresaw Peter's future and prophesied about his mission. In Matthew chapter 16, verse 18, Jesus would entrust Peter a huge responsibility, saying, You are Peter, which means the rock, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. This does not suggest that Peter is or would be a perfect person. Rather, it emphasizes the fact that Peter would have a special role to play, and for that mission, he would be coached from the very beginning. At our baptisms or confirmations, we receive or we take on new names. And as followers of Christ, we adopt the name Christian. Therefore, like Peter, we must totally trust in the Lord who helps us to grow each day to become more and more like our names. And like Andrew, we are to be humble and joyful in the mission of Christ who has called us. We must trust that God who knows and loves us dearly is in control of our lives. He has given us particular gifts for specific missions and is guiding us from our past towards a future with Him. We must trust Him always and with all that we have and with all that we are. Let us pray. Dear Lord, help us to trust You more and more so that we may live humbly like true Christians every day. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. God bless you and I wish you a lovely day. Amen.